You had really aggressive buyers coming in today, uh, 450 weeklies on Tesla. Again, look at Tesla's chart, right? Tesla, again, if this thing confirms, right? If this thing confirms, and this is a bad wick, this is a fake wick. But if this Tesla confirms tomorrow, right? Look at the daily chart, you know, you have to Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Is it Thursday already? Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Absolutely insane. I mean, there's nothing, you know, there's, there's very limited um, superlatives left that you could describe what's going on every single day that I think, oh, you know, you got to be careful. They're going to pull the plug every day. I keep saying that. I mean, it's just amazing how far the market has gone so quick, but yet the market keeps on going. And this is where we talk about um, that having an opinion is the most important part. Like, for example, I'll give you a, a perfect example. Like, so JK Solar was probably my favorite setup going today on the short side, right? We had some longs, we had some shorts. We'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. But this is how incredible this tape is. Um, you know, you, you have an opinion. Um, the short side looks like it's about to go. It's like a day away. The next thing you know, you have this massive, massive rally. Now, again, obviously, uh, you know, this whole area here never got violated and had no, you know, nothing to do with anything today. But it really does show you how much speculation money there is, even on stocks that look like they're about to fall off a cliff come right back this bids and they start going. So again, I, I always maintain the fact, again, have an opinion, always have an opinion. Uh, don't paint yourself in the corner, have setups to the long side, have setups to the short side. Again, you could be wrong theoretically, right? I mean, you can't get any more wrong uh, than JK Solar. But again, as long as you're not wrong financially, and that's the most important part. Uh, I was so loving this setup here uh, at 55, 50 is 55, obviously got nowhere close. The most amazing part also about this market is how much strength it actually has. Now, again, we've seen some incredible moves in the past. And yesterday we talked about too much, too fast. Again, I'll stick to the trades that uh, are, are very, very tight to the chest, basically coming out of channels or confirming uh, daily supply. But if you look at groups, for example, like the semiconductors, it's really amazing what they did. If, if you look at where the semiconductors were, for example, Four days ago, right? We held this rising support at 173 on the SMHs, and it looked like you know it was putting in an inside day. They got rejected off the five-day moving average, just like the way they did here. So we were literally one day away from the semiconductors to, to fall off a cliff, right? And this is the predominant group. If you look at the QQQs, these are this is the, the these are the stocks that make up the biggest components of the Nasdaq 100, alongside with. Uh, the biotechs, right? So they were really about to fall off a cliff. And then next thing you know, the celebration has begun. And again, folks, and we say this all the time, the people have spoken. The market really is almost embracing and, get to, and, and getting to the, to the numb factor that Biden could be the president of the United States. Now, again, it's, it, whatever happens, happens. I, I think at this stage, um, if you're Pro -demo if you're a pro-Democrat or pro-Republican, at this stage of the game, you almost have to kind of try to figure out what plan B is for your life. And again, like everything in life, uh, we face adversity. Um, you know, you, you figure out a plan, uh, how, to, you know, how to change things around or kind of adapt to the situation, you move forward. You adapt in life, you adapt in trading. Um, Life switches on a you know on a click of a you know uh, on a snap of a finger. So does the trading environment. So you have to adapt and you have to adapt moving forward. So the question is, how much more can this market go? And again, every single day, the first thing I say in the, in the live webinar, I don't want to chase the stocks that already made the big moves. Right? You constantly hear me say that. I don't want to chase the stock that made a thirty percent move in two days. I want to find um, I want to find the value. And the value when a market goes literally, and again, you can look at the semiconductors or even look at uh, the QQQs and the Qs have gone again. Same thing as the semis. The the, the Qs have gone from 267 uh, to 295 in three days. It's it's absolutely amazing. And the hardest part right now is continue to find value. So if you look at our pivots this morning, there were pivots that were really good, solid value tiers 
But again, as we go higher, okay, and every single day, I keep on saying, reiterating the point, hey guys, just be careful. Do not buy the overextended moves. They're ready that had their big run. Because again, if they do pull the f futures, and again, it's it's imminent. It's imminent. Again, we don't know when the imminent, imminent case is gonna, is gonna be, but the last thing you wanna do is be caught on a stock that had a 30, 40% run in two, three days, and they pull the plug. Those are the first ones to go. So again, that's the challenging part of finding the value. But when these things do confirm, usually are, you're getting really, really good things. Now, tomorrow is um, options expiration for weeklies. Fridays, we've, we've just been really fortunate enough now for a long, long time uh, to really enjoy some of the really big exaggerated moves. The question is, how much more can this market give us, right? Again, it's a very, very honest um, you know, it's a very honest question. And tomorrow, um, we'll get a pretty good idea of which names will start to come out of channels. And after the close today, uh, you have a really good earnings report. And again, if, if you think about the significance, the, the first part of earnings season with the Netflixes of the world, with Apples, with Facebooks, with Amazons, they all got sold. You guys remember that? This is the first time around that some of these beta names are actually being bid up. And again, is it the cause of the market action, the market atmosphere where we are right now? Maybe, right? But Square, really, really good reaction to earnings. Uh, Roku, again, really, really strong reaction to earnings. And now the question is, what happens next? What names are ready to go? Again, semiconductors have been flying, flying off the shelves. Uh, we had ADI today, one of the pivots. Uh, you'll see in a second how, how really aggressive it did. But I think you have to start looking at the stocks that, again, are right about to go, right about the to the point of the tipping point that if, do, if they do get confirmed, you're going to see really, really big moves. And I think you look at the Netflix of the world. Again, some buyers were coming in uh, today with the 520, 530 weeklies for both ex expiration tomorrow and for uh, next week. You had really aggressive buyers coming in today, uh, 450 weeklies on Tesla. Again, look at Tesla's chart, right? Tesla Again, if this thing confirms, right? If this thing confirms, and this is a bad wick, this is a fake wick. But if this Tesla confirms tomorrow, right? Look at the daily chart. You know, you have room to 460. So there's still some names that you could turn around, like in Teslas of the world, uh, like a Netflix of the world, if they do confirm their channels, you can see, you know, Netflix, for example, has room 527, 538. But again, obviously, everything needs to confirm, and you can't just put on these trades and in anticipation because again, you will lose money 95% of the time if you uh, if you go and try to if you go and try to anticipate a trade, and that's where you, you really get hurt. So that's where the patience uh, comes in. That's where uh, the responsibility of, 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 of managing uh, your book the proper way uh, if, you, if, if you go that route. So uh, let's talk about today's session again. Uh, EV stocks going nuts. Uh, I actually liked, uh, at some point, I actually liked uh, this NIO as a short down here. Obviously, it never got down here, but you could see how much speculation money. You got KNDI. Uh, going nuts today again. Look at it after the close, going nuts. So these EV stocks are still just, just, just absolutely going nuts. You know, LI, uh, XP, uh, what was the other? XPEL, I believe it was. Uh, so you have a really, really big aggressive uh, market right now. And the most important part is again, don't chase the price action. Find the names that haven't gone yet. And again, try to strike with extreme confidence because again, the market is giving you uh, that green light. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Again, very you know, very good, solid pivots today. Not only just uh, on smaller cap uh, on uh, on beta names. I, I caught some uh, was was a PLTR. So we'll talk about that in a second. So uh, ADI, we've been watching this ADI for a while. Again, this is another example of uh, semiconductors going absolutely nuts. So ADI one twenty six seventy five. Uh, 127 needs to build. Uh, look at ADI, just absolutely exploded, right? Absolutely went nuts. So here is the whole uh, area here, 126.75, 127, just, just went nuts. Went all the way up to uh, 131. Uh, Roku, you know, this is an area that exploded after the close. Uh, it never got uh, to the 21.75, 22 area, but it's, it's way above that. Uh, after the close, I think Roku, Roku's trading. Where's Roku these days? Uh, Roku is trading where? At the, I think the last time I saw it in the fight in the 230s. So yeah, big big move on Roku. Obviously, it didn't trigger uh, NIO. I was waiting for again. This is the whole point of waiting for confirmation. Again, you didn't sit there 
and you know you didn't sit there and try to uh, you didn't sit there and try to reinvent the wheel, forecast the trade. You would have got buried, right? So 38 heavy support. And here's my point. Here's NIO, right? Here's NIO. Here's the whole 38 support. It bounced off that level three times. So I said, hey, this is obviously before the run. If this thing starts building, you know, building below 38, you can flush. Obviously, it never came close to doing so. So again, the point is, you're allowed to be wrong theoretically. Just do not put on a position until it confirms. Very, very important. Um, so that's that there. Uh, you know, right to supply. Uh, 568, 50, 569. Uh, experienced traders only. It should get to 571, 573. Here was NVIDIA. And again, this is so important to understand where your supply zones are. So look at the high of the day, right? Here's the five, 569 and traded right to 573, right? Right there, 573, again, really nice move there. Uh, Expedia, 104, 80, 105 needs to build. Not, not a huge move on Expedia, but again, you got a pretty decent move uh, off the 52-week highs, right? Here's the whole 105 area. Uh, went to about 107. Again, not the biggest move in the world, but not, nothing, nothing bad either. Uh, Tesla I caught today. Tesla's just a great stock. I really like it for tomorrow. If, 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 remember, if it confirms macro, uh, 432 supply rejected there needs to reclaim and build. Here was Tesla, right? Let me show you. Here was Tesla, took out this whole area here, traded right to 440. I really like this area here. So really nice trade uh, on Tesla. Expedia, take on the way up. Sweet spike on Tesla, take the push. Hell, I even traded this PLTR. Again, here's a perfect example that you don't need to trade beta to trade pivots. You can trade pivots on Bitcoin, on small caps, on mid caps, as long as there is a range, okay? As long as there's a range and big volume, you can trade whatever you want. You're trading the process. You're not trading, you know, the individual stocks. So again, trade whatever you feel comfortable. A pivot is a pivot is a pivot. Uh, Netflix, I like this thing macro still. 514 huge area needs to build. Uh, Netflix traded up to the 519 area. Once it confirms 519, 520, again, look how much potential you have. So I definitely want to keep an eye on more on Netflix. Uh, Tesla's flying. Uh, PLTR, hell, I caught this PLTR. Nice move on PLTR. Uh, I want, traded up to 12 and change. I still like it. Uh, some nice moves. 520 weekly call buyer comes in as well. So the moral of the story is, yeah, could 16, 516 on the push. It went to 519. Uh, it's flying. So yeah, so the moral of the story is, look, we got a hot market right now. A lot of the uncertainty is starting to move away. I think the market, like it or not, if you're a Biden fan, if you're a Trump fan, like it or not, it does look, it does appear that the market is starting to, you know, to factor in that people, or at least the market, is comfortable with Joe, the idea of Joe Biden as president. Again, uh, there's still some ballots uh, that needs to be come in. And I, I understand there's a lot of Trump fans out there. Believe me, don't kill the messenger. I'm a registered Republican. So you don't need to come at me and say, but Trump's going to win. I'm a registered Republican before you say that. OK, just just listen to what I'm telling you. Um, so more more important is we need to see where the market responds. Always be conscious, guys. Again, do not trade with, with the blinders on. Always be conscious. We had a monster move. So anything that you're trading tomorrow, make sure it's tight. Make sure that it did not go on this, you know, 50% run in 24 hours, because again, if the futures pull, and they always will, okay, at some point they always will, the last thing you want to do is be the person without a chair to sit into. Guys, God bless, love you all, and I'll see you all tomorrow.